Good evening, everyone. It's Proof of Sex and Satin. I'm here this weekend making all my holiday soaps. I'm making three soaps this holiday. And first up is going to be marshmallow hot chocolate. So I'm using from Save on Scents, what is this, Swiss Miss Cocoa type. And I'm putting in a pinch of toasted marshmallow as well. And I made these little marshmallow embeds. I hand rolled them myself. So. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. Uh, now my oils are only at like 85 degrees, but my um, lye solution is much hotter. It's about 135, but I have no patience. I need to get this done. So let me blend up my oils, shea butter, coconut milk, and sodium lactate. Okay, that's well incorporated. Now let's add the lye solution. Probably gonna get thick really fast, but that's okay because I'm not doing any colors. The fragrance discolors, so I don't need to add any colors. I was thinking about doing a white swirl in there, but nah, just the marshmallows. Just because. In now. See what happens? I've never soaked with this fragrance, so I'm hoping I don't end up with soap on a stick or something. That would be terrible. Racing. That's good. I can already see it turning darker. All right, I don't even think I need to stick blend it anymore, really. I'm just going to pour it in the mold. should be well incorporated. You know, I always worry that if I don't stick blend the fragrances, I'm going to end up with um, pockets of fragrance. <laughs> oh, no. No, nope, I'm not going to do it. It's already thick. Well, let me put some inside. Where's my little? I want to do some samples as well. So before I put the rest, let me pour some samples. I don't think you can see this, probably. <clears throat> to get a little chopstick or something to swirl this around. Okay, let me put the rest of this in here. Thank you. 
So I haven't been on YouTube very much lately, and it's not because I haven't been making soap. I have been, but you guys know how I feel. <laughs> I think I've had enough rants about YouTube. It's a lot of work making these videos. I really don't have many subscribers, so it's not really worth it. But I do like to make videos every now and then. So... it. I think I got it all. Let me pause you so I can get a little swirling tool and then put the marshmallows on. Okay, so I got my swirling tool. Let me swirl it around and then put the marshmallows on top. And the same thing with the samples. I will put one marshmallow on each sample. And then I'm gonna wrap the soap up so it can gel because y'all know how I feel about partial gels. Now get the rest of these marshmallows, Placed a few on each bar, whoa, Okay, um, let's make sure they're in there good. Don't want them falling off. I can feel the other ones that I put in there underneath. Okay. samples. Hope I have enough left. I do. Great. There you have it. That's my marshmallow hot chocolate soap. me on the cut okay you guys it's actually been three days now and I'm here to cut my um, what's the name of this it is the Swiss Miss hot cocoa type so I'll probably just call it marshmallow hot cocoa or something like that but as you can see it did get darker as I expected <clears throat> Okay, I got it out. It's nice and hard. See the ring around it? It's going to get darker. Probably not going to cut every single bar since it's all the same.
Well, maybe I will. You know, I made little marks where I wanted to cut each bar so it would be even and it's still, I'm just not good at cutting these bars evenly. <sighs> smells so chocolatey. Delicious. Just take out a, one of the um, samples. Put them in the freezer for about an hour just to make it easier to unmold. Sometimes these little silicone molds are hard to get out. That's it, just one. Because I'm hearing sirens again, as I swear. Every time I'm filming, there's sirens. Well, that's the life living in the city. Okay, you guys, there you have it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.